Hey, what's up guys? Jamil back here with another video. And there's so many videos and stories coming out and articles about the next generation of consoles with the Xbox series line of consoles, the PlayStation 5, uh, even new graphics cards from Nvidia and AMD and the next generation of gaming. But what about people who can't afford those consoles or those graphics cards or even to build their own PC? or maybe just people that want a game on the go. Well, I'm gonna talk about that right now. So welcome to the review of Game Pass Ultimate for Android. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is the mobile app. How does this perform? Uh, have I had any issues with it? And the answer is it performs very well. I've had no lag or loading issues, no crashes or anything like that. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a very well thought out application for Android, easy to navigate. Um, every game is broken down by genre or recently added. If they add new games to the library, if you want to add games to your personal library, you can select the play later option. So you can just quickly go to that section and load up a game instantly. It's pretty cool. The UI is very clean. Um, you can actually view your Xbox points for doing simple things like logging in on a daily basis or starting a new game. Um, you get your achievements as well, which is pretty cool when playing games, but uh, we'll talk about the games a little bit later. But yeah, the application, uh, I haven't had any issues with this. And just to keep you guys, uh, or make you guys aware, I've been running this on a couple of Samsung tablets the Galaxy Tab S6 and the Tab S7 Plus, which is Samsung's new high-end tablet. Uh, these are both Android tablets. They run um, the latest version of, of Android and they have like Samsung's UI on top of it, uh, Samsung's One UI, which is pretty clean. Uh, it's better than TouchWiz from back in the day and not that much Samsung uh, bloatware and, and weird stuff on it, but like I said, the app is very clean, no UI issues, no performance issues, uh, things load normally, no crashes. And I think people will have a, a great time navigating through the app and viewing all the great games that are on here. And yeah, I mean, it's, I think the app is supported on devices running Android 5 and higher or Android 6 and higher. Uh, so you have an Android smartphone, a tablet running uh, Android Lollipop or Marshmallow, you'll be able to quickly install this, run through the, the, the app and install or stream whatever games you want on the service. So let's talk about the games real quick. Now, the great thing about Game Pass Ultimate is the fact that not only are you getting such great games small games, uh, independent games, uh, AAA titles, things like that. But you're getting Microsoft's own first party titles, which is great. So you'll see things like Forza Horizon, Forza Motorsport, Gears of War, Halo, um, the Master Chief Collection's on here. Uh, there's a lot of great stuff. And games that come out that are Microsoft exclusives that are day and date releases with Game Pass. So. Let's just say like, for example, Halo Infinite was coming out tomorrow. Well, it would probably come out on Game Pass as well. Um, so if you have Game Pass Ultimate and you're, you know, you're like me, who's a PlayStation guy, uh, doesn't own an Xbox console, but uses Game Pass on your mobile device, you'll still be able to, to play those games, stream them or download them to your device. And, you know, you're still playing the latest Xbox titles. It's pretty cool. There's such a great, uh, uh, list of games from all types of developers, publishers, uh, and Microsoft included, like I said. Uh, I think Doom Eternal was one of the more recent ones added as well from Bethesda. And now that Microsoft owns Bethesda and all the other studios tied to, to that studio, you're going to be seeing a lot more Bethesda games on there in the future, uh, especially the newer titles that haven't even been announced yet wants to become uh, exclusive to the Xbox ecosystem, which I'm pretty sure they will. I think all the newer titles that haven't been announced yet that will be announced in the next year will be Xbox exclusive. So uh, if you wanna play those titles and you don't have an Xbox, 
but you do have a mobile device such as a smartphone or a tablet running Android, then you'll be able to play those games no problem, as long as you have Game Pass Ultimate. Um, but yeah, there's a ton of great options. The app has a lot of games that I would have not normally played, um, not wanted to spend the money on, anywhere from like 10 to $60 that I just play in Game Pass. It's, it's a great option for people who don't want to spend a lot of money every year. Uh, and you'll be able to play old titles, new titles, small titles, um, AAA exclusives, things like that on Game Pass on your mobile device. So I think what Microsoft's doing with Game Pass Ultimate is great. And they constantly rotate the library. So you'll get new games um, that come to Game Pass. They will remove games every so often, I guess, if people aren't playing them or depending on what their developer deal is. Um, but yeah, for the most part, they're always adding new games. I would say maybe twice a month, you'll see anywhere from 10 to 15 new games, which is pretty good. All right, so how is the stream quality? What is the experience playing these games over the cloud? Uh, and the answer to that is it's great. I've had almost no issues with this, to be honest. Um, and like I said, I played on the two Samsung tablets and I'm streaming on my home Wi-Fi network, which I have a great home network. Uh, we have gigabit internet and I have a mesh system. So for me, it, it would make sense that it runs very well. Um, and I think at the time of me playing this the first time, me testing this out, I was getting like 200 megabits down or something close to that. And normally I get like eight, 900 megabits down, but um, we have so many devices in the house that everyone's running something that's connected to the network. So there's a lot of streaming going on in the house, but if you have a decent connection, you should be able to run this without any issue. Um, I'm not sure how this would work on cellular network. I've only tested this on Wi-Fi, and I think that's gonna be the major thing in the future is once cellular networks get to a point where they're good enough to compete with Wi-Fi, in terms of signal strength and reliability, then uh, something like Game Pass Ultimate will be even better when streaming to mobile devices. Right now, it's kind of weird because 5G is out, but it's not everywhere. And even if it is everywhere, it's not as reliable as 4G. Um, and there's other elements to that, like the speed of 5G, the speed of 4G, the sing signal strength, interference, all types of things. So. Uh, if you're gonna use Game Pass Ultimate, obviously you're gonna do it on Wi-Fi. You can do it on 5G. There's a lot of Samsung 5G smartphones out there. Um, I believe that Microsoft had partnered with Samsung, uh, the Note series, the Note 20, the Note 20 Ultra, because those are the more recent 5G smartphones and on Verizon's network. But even then, it's not gonna be perfect. I think, honestly, Wi-Fi is gonna be the best option for streaming these games for the next few years at least. But my experience with streaming over Wi-Fi with Game Pass Ultimate has been great. I have had almost zero lag, um, no issues loading the game really, except for like maybe one hiccup when I first tried to load Nier Automata the first time. And after that, it's been great. Uh, the games usually take about 10 to 20 seconds to load. And then once you're in the game, it's fine. Um, you have to like log in, set your username and stuff like that, depending on the game. But that's on a game by game basis. That's not uh, an Xbox Game Pass service thing, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's been great. Stream quality has been really great. Uh, I think the major difference will be one, your network strength and your speed, your internet speed, uh, and two, the device you're playing on. Because like I said, the Tab S6 from Samsung is great, but it's a 60 hertz display whereas the Tab S7 Plus is 120 hertz display. So you're gonna notice a difference uh, in the display quality and um, I guess the frame rates at which you're playing these games on that device, depending on your display. There are smartphones that do have 120 hertz display. Um, it's more common to see a smartphone with a 90 hertz display from manufacturers like OnePlus, but they also have a smartphone with 120 hertz display. So if you're interested in playing this on a higher end device, uh, it's gonna look really good. Even if you play on a basic device, uh, it'll look really good, but just something to keep note of. As long as you have a device with a decent display, 
uh, you have a decent network connection that's reliable, then you'll be able to run these games just fine. So what, what are my final thoughts on Game Pass Ultimate for Android? Um, let's see, so honestly, I think this is, like many people have said before, the best deal in gaming, um, especially for people who play only on mobile devices. Now, Google has their own subscription service that allows you to play unlimited games uh, per month, but that does not even compete <laughs> to Game Pass Ultimate. Uh, Apple has Apple Arcade, which does the same thing. They have higher quality titles, but that doesn't compete with Game Pass Ultimate. Um, Game Pass Ultimate is giving you console games on your mobile device. And all you need is a stable network connection and a device with a good display. And most smartphones now have great displays. So it's really a no brainer uh, in terms of, you know, how this, how this service stacks up against other uh, mobile subscription services for gaming. Um, in terms of how this competes with Stadia, I'm not sure. Um, the only thing I can say is that Game Pass Ultimate has the games, whereas Stadia does not. They have some games, they do not have a great library like, uh, like Game Pass Ultimate does. Not only that, but Game Pass Ultimate supports a ton of Android devices, whereas Stadia is not available for every Android device. I mean, it came, it came out running, I think, only on the current Pixel devices. And then I think later on, they opened it up to more and more Android devices. But even then, I think Game Pass Ultimate is more widely available. So I think it's, it's probably the best option for streaming console quality games to a smartphone or tablet. Um, the games list is great. The quality of streaming is great. Um, the app runs very well, no issues for me, and it supports a ton of devices. And not only that, but Game Pass Ultimate is cloud gaming on your phone, but if you happen to have an Xbox console, you can stream even more games on there or download more games on there with that same subscription. So um, yeah, it's the best deal in gaming to me. Uh, as someone who doesn't own an Xbox console, who doesn't plan to buy an Xbox console, this is the easiest way for me to play uh, Microsoft exclusive titles or games that I would have never thought of playing on my PlayStation 5. So just keep that in mind. Those are, those are my impressions of Game Pass Ultimate for Android. If you're currently using this on your Android phone or tablet, let me know in the comments below what you think of it. If you've had any issues, uh, if you have any questions um, that I might have not answered in this video, let me know in the comment section below. Also check out the description below for the uh, Samsung devices I mentioned. Um, some micro SD cards that might be discounted if you want to expand your storage and actually download these games when running Game Pass Ultimate on your Android device. Uh, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, so if, uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like on it. Be sure to subscribe for more content coming very soon and I will catch y'all later.